Welcome back, everybody, to the world's worst fishing. All right, everybody. Uh, I want to start off this video with a huge thank you to everyone who supports the channel and has uh, watched the videos, subscribed to the channel, all of that fun stuff. Um, we would not be here without y'all. With that said, we just hit 69,000 subscribers. Sorry, just had to clean something off of the screen. So as, uh, excuse me, off the lens. So as I was saying, 69,000, wow. So, do you know what's better than 69,000? 70,000. So I figured it's giveaway time again. We're about to hit 70,000, hopefully here in the next little bit. So I need y'all's help to get there. Please share the channel, tell your friends. I just need half my audience to get one, I just held up two fingers, one friend, okay, laundry one friend to start watching the channel and to subscribe and we'll reach our goal with that said um i want to give back to you guys so i have some goodies that we're going to be giving away so this video is going to go up now we're going to talk about some of the giveaway items we're going to make some baits physical baits to include in the giveaway and then the giveaway winners will be announced once we hit 70 okay but today's video is to announce the giveaway and make some goodies for the giveaway all right, so right out of the gate, I'm gonna show y'all one of the prizes here, which are these action worm molds. So um, I put out a video recently actually using this mold. This is the six cavity 4.1 action worm mold, new from Angling AI molds. And uh, just to show you an example of what you can do with this bad boy, here are some recent worms poured in that mold. Lots of cool hand pour patterns that you can do. So there's just one example there. So I'm going to have two winners. Okay. One winner is going to get this set of molds, 12 cavities here of the new action worm. So two of those right there. And then the other winner is going to get whatever big box of baits we decide to make in this video. And um, basically to go over the rules of the contest, I guess, it's pretty simple. First, you need to subscribe to the channel. That's number one. You need to be subscribed. I need to be able to look back to see that you are subscribed if you're a winner. Secondly, you need to share this video to social media. Then you need to come back to this video, drop a comment down below saying that you shared it, and um, also include whatever platform you shared it to. It can it can be your Facebook, your your uh, your, your Twitter, Instagram, wherever any platform that you're on just make sure and include that and then what i'll do is once we hit 70,000, i i'll come back to this video and i'll do a random drawing from all of the comments and then we'll select two winners so one winner is going is going to get the molds and basically how i'm going to divvy that up is whoever contacts me first whenever i um sorry announce the winners i'll just kind of give them a choice do you want package A with the molds or package B with the baits? So that's a little bit how this is going to happen. You got to be subscribed. I have to be able to verify that. Leave a comment down below saying that you shared the video. Tell me where you shared the video and boom, just like that, you're entered into the contest. So I have basically a prize for bait makers. And then I'm also going to include some prize for the anglers. So let's get started making some stuff that I think will be awesome to give away. Thanks everybody. Uh, it's been an awesome couple of years building this channel. 69,000. Let's get to 70 and beyond. Here we go. Heck yeah. All right, so I'm going to try to cover a few bases as far as what baits I make and not just make one thing, but since it's going to be like a giveaway goodie box, you know, I want to make sure that I've got like a worm, a jerk bait, a creature, a craw you know, a, a couple of different things. So right now I've got my dead on plastics, of course, uh, shout out to one of my main sponsors of the channel. And um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one of my favorite jerk bait colors. I call this one Disco Shad. So I'm using the swim bait jerk bait blend and uh, let's mix this one up and here we go. And just real fast, the mold that we're using to make our uh, Disco Shad jerk baits in is the Angling AI Molds, also one of the uh, title sponsors of this channel, so sh big shout out and thanks to them. This is their uh, five inch jerkbait mold. So we've got a couple, a couple different molds for about, I don't know, about 12 cavities here. And uh, we're gonna fire them up in the uh, pneumatic air vise. 
And um, yeah, this is gonna be part of the bait giveaway, some disco shads. All right, what makes this color really stand out is the blue interference powder. So we have some uh, good old fashioned Lure Works blue highlight, okay? And we want to just put some of that in, stir it in. We're probably gonna stir up some bubbles here, but that's okay. Yeah, you can see that highlight effect uh, sort of taking over there. Beautiful, beautiful. So this is gonna be a very see-through color, which a lot of good shad patterns are. And so it's basically that blue highlight base. Have a little contaminant there, something got in the cup. All good. But then we also wanna add some medium black flake. All right, just to give it a little bit of texture here. All right, so let's stir that in. We might need a little bit more. Yeah, now you can really see the effect starting to happen there. Yeah, so that's our, that's our black flake. Maybe just a smidge more. We like to work in smidges. And then what really, really, I think, caps off the disco part of it is we need a little bit of hologram flake. You can see it hiding down there in the corner. That right there, some string cut hologram silver flake. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we just want to load it up with that. <clears throat> yes. Yes, yes, yes. And that's pretty much it. We don't we definitely don't need any more highlight. <clears throat> definitely don't need any more black flake. That's 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 got a pretty good ratio of flakes right there. Just a little bit more hologram for good luck. And then I think we are done. All right, let's do it. Yeah, super awesome color, super simple. Anyone that's in the shad colors at home, definitely give this one a try. Oh yes, let's see if I can get it in the right angle. Yeah, where, where you can really see it for what it is and see how cool this effect is. Let's get them out of the molds here. Yeah, there it is. Disco shads. What do y'all think? Yeah, so basically we're just gonna run a bunch of these and that will be sort of like the first part of this uh, giveaway, so to speak. All right, there it is. The first run of the uh, Disco Shad Jerk Baits. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. So we're gonna run another round of these at least, just whatever we can get. And uh, then we'll move on to some other colors and some other baits. All right, and there's round two of the Disco Shad jerk baits, And uh, what do you know, they look just like round one. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we might get a few more out of this, but um, yeah, whoever wins this package has some really, really cool Shad jerk baits. There goes the air compressor. All right, this next color I like to call Landon's Magic. It's named after my son, Landon. And basically what we've done on this left side here, we have mixed MF, Dark Watermelon, one of my like top five pigments, okay? With a little bit of just gold mica powder. It gives us this beautiful golden kind of brown, okay? Then we've mixed some large black flake and some large silver flake. This other side is getting the micro flake, okay? This is what's known as micro flake, the .004 blue, okay? This stuff is literally like powder and it's getting a lot of it. This is a half teaspoon per one cup. All right, now let's stir this in. I'll give you a hint, it turns really blue. And what's fun about this small flake is that you can pretty much just use it as color. Just add a bunch of small flake and you essentially can kind of color the plastic the same way you would with powders. Um, powders and uh, traditional pigments. And then a little bit of this large silver to go with it. Just a little bit. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to laminate these two colors in a ribbon tail worm because no soft plastic bait, bait package is complete without a worm. Duh. <clears throat> and so those are the two halves of the uh, color right there. All right, here we go. Some seven inch ribbon tail worms. Got our no injector blending block, our bass tackle uh, ribbon tail molds, and let's see how these turned out. Here we go, Landon's magic. Looking good, feeling good. All right, Landon's magic, here we go. Golly, it is a stunner. If I do say so myself. Oh, look at this. Look at that color. And what I love the most is where the blue flake side meets that um, dark watermelon gold side. It kind of turns that flake sort of green. I don't know if it's coming through on camera, but it, it has the appearance that there's green flake in it when really there's not. And that's just part of the magic of, of doing laminate injection is to see some of the sort of effects that you get from that as a result of putting the two colors together. Let's get out the uh, other mold here. And so, uh, you know, I didn't mix up a whole ton of this, but we'll get enough worms to make it worth our while. Yeah, absolutely lovely. Landon's magic, everybody. And of course, we want to do some swim bait high-end hand pouring. So we're going to do one of my dotted shad patterns. And it's going to be a color that I like to refer to a lot as chartreuse shad. The key ingredient is some fancy hyper shift, which is a, um, a term for like a really vivid color shift pigment. And that right there is a dip your car color shift powder right there. I have an affiliate program link in the description below for any other bait makers or any crafting artists who might want some of these cool pigments. You can use these in paints, acrylics, pretty much anything. So um, definitely check those out. We also need some chartreuse colorant right there, dead on chartreuse. And then we've used this already today, the same color base that went into the disco shads we're gonna use for the belly color. Coming up, it's gonna be awesome. All right, here we go. We're gonna pour a few bellies for y'all. Yeah, nice and smooth. Slow and steady. Just to the top of that hook slot insert like you see there. Done. This is dead on plastics. Um, black bucket swim bait blend actually mixed with a little bit of craw tube. So this is, I guess, what you could call a custom blend of plastic. I'm basically just combining those two durometers because it gives me a really good feel in these five inches. It's not too firm, but it's not too soft for a bait of this size. All right, let's pour just a few of these veins here and uh, then we'll keep moving on. Gotta take it real slow. Try to pour them accurately. Just past the tail section and on up into the head section, but not too far up the head. I want it to kind of stop near that eye socket. That one might have been poured just a little bit too far. Nonetheless, it still looks good to me. We'll kind of do this one too. I kind of start between the two targets. I'll start between that head section and then the tail section. Yeah. Just like that, beautiful. All right, let's check out this ZTM getting stirred in. Hopefully it'll start showing up here. Oh yeah, look at that. Hyper shift, baby. There is no substitute for it. 
you either have some or you don't look at that effect it's so cool highly recommend it for anyone getting into this hobby it will change your baits all right now we're going to top one off let's pick one here yeah let's just do this one beautiful bring it on down into the tail yeah just like that oh absolute stunners can't wait to see these check this out look at that shift effect on that lighting yeah absolute stunning yeah these right here are like the grand prize of the bait package but i'm sure we'll throw something else in as well all right laundry noise in the back but i don't really care it is core shot time we're gonna end this bait package with a little core shot action so i have some dead on plastics worm blend here you can see looking nice and crisp nice and clear and we're just going to add a little bit of watermelon color just to be quote unquote the shell color i need to just get the rest of that pigment mixed in but i want it to be rather light don't want you know there again this is just going to be a see-through shell so we don't need to add too much pigment but we want it to have basically just a hint of watermelon about it so if i Drizzle some of this out on the table. That's looking pretty good. Now I just need some black flake. Just for texture, we're essentially making watermelon red. Core shot stick bait style. So basically a watermelon with black flake shell and then a red core. Watermelon red core shot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this in the vac chamber just to get um, any and all bubbles out. Then we're gonna inject these two core shot molds here. And uh, this is gonna be cool. All right, here we go. Just gonna inject these shells real quick. When doing this mold, I wanna inject slowly and hold some fairly forceful pressure. Try to um, avoid any kind of denting, which can happen. Okay, hold some pressure. Should be good to go there. And uh, we will meet y'all right back. Yes, perfect. It definitely looks watermelon pepperish, but you can clearly see through to the rod, which means we should get our red core effect looking pretty good here. So I'm feeling good about these. It looks about like I want it to look. All right, time to do the cores. We just mixed some, what is this? Dead on plastics, uh, Dorothy with some red. And you need the core plastic to be very hot. Gotta kinda shoot it fast and hard to really fill those core sections, okay? Fast and hard and hot. Seems to give me the best results. Well, would you look at that? I got nine out of 10 perfectly this one just didn't quite do what we wanted it to. I'm not sure what happened there, but the core did not really fill. If I break this in half, yeah, you can see it's still a little bit hollow. However, they basically came out a little more watermelon orange, but I think this is, um, this is a really good concept. Like this would be a cool way to do watermelon red and some of your other favorites in the core shot worm. Look at that, isn't that juicy? Oh man, yeah, let's get a close up there. Yeah. To whoever the future winner is, I really hope you'll enjoy these. Cause um, you know, in, unless other people have, you know, one of these uh, AI core shot molds or one of the rip offs of it, you're really not seeing these a whole lot. So um, it's a really special mold that makes a really special worm. And uh, that right there speaks for itself. All right, and let's look at one of these swim baits now that these molds are cooled down. Those baits are officially finished. Oh my God. Yes, there it is. Chartreuse Shad using that hyper shift. I love the way that the bright chartreuse kind of plays with that dark purple hyper shift. Got the shad dot there. 
the blue highlight bottom. We're gonna throw a bunch of eyes on these. And that's a wrap. This is one hell of a giveaway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is a spread worthy of 70,000 subs. Look at those worms. Those are growing on me by the second. We got our eyeballs on the swim baits there. Looking super good. And I mean, what else can you say about Disco Shad? What an amazing color for a jerk bait. And um, yeah, there's Landon's Magic in the worms. Seven inch ribbon tails there. And then the mold package. The two uh, six cavity four one action worm open pores. So what a spread. Please let me know in the comments down below which ones were your favorite. Um, again, to enter the contest, you must be subscribed. I'll have to verify that once I uh, pick the two winners. And again, you know, the way that I pick my winners is I'll probably do a live stream once we get to 70,000. And then I'll use a random comment selector on this video that you're watching now that will pick two random comments. And as long as it's from a subscriber who shared it and commented that they shared, those are the two winners. So good luck to everybody entering the contest. Thank you so much for years of support. Here's to 70,000 subs and hopefully beyond. We want to get to 100,000 and I need your help to get there. All right, everybody. Awesome video today. Super excited about this giveaway. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get to 70,000 so that this uh, giveaway actually doesn't happen too, too far in the future. But I'm hoping that you guys will come through for me and help me get that extra 900 subs that we need to get to 70,000. 70,000 is a big milestone for me. Uh, truly blessed and humbled. Thank you to every one of my subscribers and viewers. Um, I hope y'all will continue to watch as many videos as possible. That helps support the channel and helps keep the content coming. We are out of here. Again, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And uh, thank you again to my audience. You guys are the best. We'll see you in the next video.